In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert your standard materials to redshift materials with a simple click. If you find this video helpful in any way, please throw me a like down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, and let's get into it. In our scene, we have several chairs that I just found in the Cinema 4D content browser. They all have standard materials applied to them. Now, if I isolate one chair in particular, we can pick this orange chair here and say I want to convert this orange material to a redshift material. As you can see right now, it's just a standard shader. I can go up to the redshift window, down to materials, tools, and then go to convert materials. And what this will do is it'll create a redshift material right next to the original material, but it won't apply it to the object. So you'll still see in the object browser that we have our original standard orange material. Now what I find most helpful is the convert and replace function. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our orange material again. We're going to go up to redshift materials, convert and replace materials. Now you'll see that our standard material has been replaced with the redshift material. And you can see here in the object browser, it's already been applied to our object. So that's good, it saves us a lot of time. I'm going to control Z my way back. And perhaps the most helpful function of all is convert and replace all materials. So if I wanna convert every material in this scene without selecting any of them, I can go up to Redshift, Materials, Tools, Convert and Replace All Materials. You could do convert all materials and that will just create a new redshift material for each of them but then you're going to have a bunch of duplicates in your material window in my case i'm just going to do convert and replace all materials and you'll see that now everything is being converted to redshift materials just going to throw a dome light in our scene Now you'll notice when you fire up the IPR window that they don't seem to be rendering correctly anymore. This is something I've seen before and I, I'm not sure exactly what the issue is. There's some sort of loading issue going on, but I find that if you enable and disable any subdivisions or go into the object uh, manager and start selecting the different objects that are involved with the materials, you will start to see the materials render correctly. So obviously this doesn't reduce all of your work, but it does speed up the process of getting these things converted. And if anybody knows why Redshift does this, please let me know in the comments down below, but hopefully this is helpful to some of you. So just keep in mind when you use this process, it's not a perfect workflow. You're not gonna get the exact same materials as your standard materials. You're gonna have to do a little bit of manual conversion inside the Redshift shader graph, but this does simplify the process a lot. Instead of finding all of these texture maps and then putting them into a shader graph and building these materials from scratch again, so I hope this was helpful to some of you. I didn't know about this feature for a while, even though it's right there in the Redshift menu. Let me know if you have any specific tutorial requests down below, and I will see you in the next tutorial.